Hallelujah. You know, it's amazing to me how the Lord can use different things and different avenues to reveal what's in people's hearts. And, you know, just here recently, we uploaded a video that John did, and there was a lot of grief and stuff as he was given the video because, you know, we go through a lot of intense things, intense battles, intense trials, and the messages are born out of that, out of our own experience, out of the truth of our own experience. And, you know, it seems like it's just like the Lord showed me, you know, just by some of the comments that we received on that uh, video. And a lot of them were not even approved because we're not going to give platform to those kind of things. But the attitude, <laughs> the attitude seems to be, you know, what do you think you're doing? John being sad what do you think you're doing uh, being grieving weeping on camera what are you doing you know what you need to uh, get over it John and start putting videos out again and feed me that's the attitude of a lot of you people and I believe today, God's calling some of you to account. Really, a lot of you to account. Because it, it's amazing how God can show us just exactly what the thing is going on out there. You know, people can come, come to the channel, come and listen to the messages and be fed, be filled, be encouraged be convicted, be challenged, learn and grow. And that's where it ends with them. Coming and listening to the messages and and receiving of that life. And woe be unto the messenger if he doesn't keep shelling out the messages. You know, I'm going to tell you something. It is not the Spirit of the Lord for you to have that attitude. Because the Spirit of the Lord, the Bible says that we will know who, whose are the Lord by their love one for another. In other words, when another part of the body is going through a trial, going through whatever, we care about that. And we do whatever we can to help that person, that brother or that sister. But I tell you what, the overall attitude, and it's just amazing me how the Lord just exposed it. Boom. This is really what these people think. They're coming and they're taking the life from the messages and it's just this attitude of taking and you better step in line messenger you better step in line and you better not get out of line messenger don't get down messenger don't get sad messenger don't don't be real messenger just keep putting these messages out so I can be fed so I can be filled you know, the Lord is letting his judgment fall on this land in a Gatling gun effect. It's, you're going to see it more and more and more. And, and really, you know, what you try to hide in your heart uh, about how you really feel, about how your heart really is, you're not going to be able to do it in this time. It's going to be exposed. 
how you really feel what's really going on in your heart is going to be exposed you're not going to be able to put on a fake face and have all this stuff going on in your heart and get by with it in this hour especially if you are claiming to be a believer because God's going to hold you to it he's going to hold you to what you say you believe he's going to hold you to what you say that he told you or what you say he he is there's an accountability taking place in this hour. Okay? Now the Bible tells us that's how we're going to tell in this end time if someone is truly a true Christian and not a fake one. And that's for their love one for another. What is love? What is true love? What is agape? Agape is speaking the truth not pulling any punches, not circumventing the truth, but getting straight to the truth. You know, the Lord wants us as his people to have hearts for his true people. You know, so many times uh, we get people that come in, you know, and they have this label of the cross in their life or in their ministry and and no more do they have the cross working in their life than a man in the moon and it's very evident by their life and the spirit of what they do you know by the spirit of God in this time what's real and what's not real you know, I don't know how long the Lord will have us on the internet, but I guarantee you, we have to keep our focus on the fact of what God has told us to do and not keep our focus on people. Because if you keep your focus on people, people, you're going to be sadly, sorely disappointed. Even those that profess the name of Jesus. And I'm here to tell you, this is a lonely walk. This is a narrow walk. And sometimes you absolutely do walk it alone with Jesus. It's not a walk of recognition. It's not a walk of fame. It's not a walk of being lifted up in pride. And spiritual pride is the absolute worst sin a believer could have. Spiritual pride. That is really the trademark of the enemy is pride, the I. You know, we received a message the other day. and Another one of these things of lifting up the self, trying to get on uh, with us to get, get some sort of connection, some sort of recognition because they know that John and Sharon are real and the message is real and the message is penetrating and I'm telling you in this hour God's cutting it off quick he's not letting that happen in this hour he's cutting it off quick he says cut this off boom cut that off boom if you're coming in for that purpose you're going to be revealed as coming in at that purpose it's not going to be hidden. If you're coming in to try to destroy, God's going to expose you. It's very important in this time to be right with the Lord and to do right. And to do right by God's people. You know, when God chooses a person to speak forth his word a messenger of God you have no idea yourself unless you are in that position what kind of life that is and what kind of trials that person goes through now if you're looking for a fluff and step gospel if you're looking for a fake show then you're, you're in the wrong place if you're listening to Soldiers of the Cross because you're not going to get it here 
we're going to bring forth the messages in our own life and in the Word of God, the, the truth of how it really is. And yeah, sometimes we do get down. Yeah, sometimes we do get discouraged. Yes, we have grieving. And I'll tell you, a lot of the grieving comes from professed believers. Because you can't even believe that this person is doing this. It's grieving to the heart. It's grieving. It's grieving to God's heart. But our focus has to be the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm telling you, it's got to be the Lord Jesus Christ. We have got to keep our eyes on Jesus. Knowing that He is the faithful one. That He will never leave us. He will never forsake us. He will never lie to us. You know, <laughs> obedience obey the Lord you know right now sometimes um, things do get so intense that you know you get weary you get tired and you the temptation is there to give up and just to go on your way you know an easier way an easier route listen the way of the cross is not an easy route it's not a fluff and stuff route. It's a hard way. And the dying of the self, picking up our cross, following Jesus daily. You know, the, the cross is those things that our flesh don't like. The things that we go through in warfare or whatever. You know, uh, John and I were talking yesterday about how Jesus must have felt that his heart must have just been totally completely broke because of what he went through even with his closest friends those that said they would never leave him they would always be with him they lied they left you know I posted a thing on the uh, Facebook here recently by T. Austin Sparks and it was basically saying you know in Paul's situation that those that were connected to Paul you know if they had any of the world the love of the world in them it wasn't going to be a, a good place for them to be associated with Paul and like Demas he left why did he leave? because it was just a little bit it was just too hard he just wanted the easy way he wanted the easy road he didn't want really the road of the cross so he left he left Paul and he left Jesus when he left Paul he left Jesus so you know it, yeah it's a hard walk and yeah, it's grieving. You know, those of you out there that are putting forth the word, very few, but there are some. You know exactly what I'm talking about. It seems like people just don't care. But you know what we found? You know, I can count on absolutely one hand. One hand. Those that truly have a genuine care and agape love on one hand because the Bible says we're going to know who's truly of the Lord by our love one for another and another thing you know if you're professing the Lord and you're doing all this behind the back stuff you're going to be exposed period God's going to expose you for what's really in your heart and you know what? I've asked him. I've asked him myself, Lord, show us who of those that we are connected to that are fake. 
They're speaking one thing with their mouth, but their hearts are totally, completely different. Because in this hour, you don't want to be hooked up with anybody that's a fake. Or the devil. Or the world. You want to be separate unto the Lord, completely and totally. Now, I felt the Lord wanting me to bring this forth, because it's so important. You know, you should support and lift up the messengers of God. Those that are feeding your soul with the truth of the gospel. You know, in the scripture, Moses, you know, when his hands were up, they were winning. But when they were down, then the enemy was coming in and winning. And that's why they had to come in and hold Moses' hands up, one on either side, to help him, to support him, to love him truly in action. Because you can speak all day long that you love, but if you don't put that into action and show that you love, then it's meaningless. It's meaningless. You're a hearer of the word, but you're not a doer of the word. Plain and simple. So just take this message to heart and ask the Lord to search your own heart about it and ask him if you're doing this and if you are, repent. And do right. And do right. In Jesus' name, amen.